Miami, I am a flamenco dancer based in Spain, in Malaga. Flamenco metal madena, Costa de Rica. I'm here actually first to Seville to learn traditional flamenco because I love traditional because it's natural. It's like, you know, it goes like with a lot of message. Look at me. Anyone can do it. So I'm gonna share with you my experience and how I practice from non nothing, nothing from zero. Okay. Today I'm going to do a hand movement and arm and a basic with details. So if you wanna learn completely with details, stay with me until the end, and I'm going to share more and more um, choreographies and basic things how I learn exactly the same procedure as I learned on my channel so hit the subscribe button and if you want to you can share with your friend and like to comment where you are and what you want to see I'm here to help you and we can improve together we will be a flamenco experts when people stand it's like this right but when we are going to dance we have to put our stomach in lift it so if I'm not doing anything just like that that's not nice you know but lift it and in and up from here as well we need to get here the muscle in here in the in the, in the river cage or something I can't remember the words yeah more than anything we need to get the posture so we're gonna look at it together from here and then arm um, how are we gonna move the fingers and what is the postures yeah okay this is the base so stomach in up yeah we can't please imagine that you have uh, a jeans that it's really tight you know I'm gonna fix it this <clears throat> okay maybe some of you might be same as me that's during this time I'm, you know, a little bit bigger than before, so I'm trying to put in my dresses. Let's go. In, breathe, breathe. We find the breeze. We can breathe and the center. And now here, it's not normal. If I'm just um, um, using stomach muscle, then it's like this only. Yeah, from the. But I'm on the top, lifting. Did you see that? Lift. Lift. Uno. Let's practice together. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Very good. So Spanish you can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, uno, two, dos, three, tres, cuatro, four, five, cinco, seis, no, six, seis, seven, siete, ocho, no, sorry, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, y diez. So this class is super good for people who want to understand a bit of a flamenco language and Spanish language the basic one to be able to for you to dance flamenco and gonna go from the bass base base is a basic okay again this is really good uno y uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis Siete, ocho. So feel it. You should really um, touch with your two hands and feel it if it's lifting up. Okay. Oh my God! Come on, we can do it because this will really look different when you dance. Okay. If I don't use this, so I'm gonna show you. Then I will be dancing like this. Okay, so it's normal. Yeah? 
Pero ay, tiritran, tan, tan, tan. Second version es lift up. Tiritran, tan, tan. Tiritran, tan, tan, tan. Tiritran, pero ay, tiritran, tan, tan, tan. So I'm sure that you see the difference. Now we have the basic. Stomach in. Stay there. You don't go down anymore. Stay there. And we have this nice posture. We have space, as I always explain. And then we have a few space. And here, I never go to this, right? A lot of people are not used to it and just, you know, doing this. But flamenco, we need this elbow to be looking at outside and space make sure it's like imagine you are holding someone you're holding basketball or you're hugging someone you know it's not like this you don't hug people like that okay now space lift up stomach and i'm gonna do a basic fingers movement to start this we don't move from here just check that your elbow is there and shoulder doesn't get like this and never fall down like that okay stay there lift up and lift up okay let's go so we move like this each finger each fingers each fingers each finger beautiful it's really good each fingers each finger each finger make sure that you don't cross the fingers sometimes people get to seems to be like um cross the fingers without knowing without yeah it's like people do this sometimes when when we just start you know because we are not used to it i remember that when i started it's like what what and also we are all the same. I'm from Japan originally and I'm based in Spain and I practice a lot because I don't have this in my culture. I don't have this movement. I never dance flamenco or any dance until when I was 22 or 3. University after university. Okay, so we're gonna do inside movement so that it's easier for us to understand. Make sure that the finger doesn't go, okay? And only wrists are moving, not like this. Yeah, that's got to be control. Flamenco is a lot of control. It's like life. I think a lot of people who are into flamenco say that flamenco is a living art form. So uh, control and uh, some parts are really soft and nice and complete amazing yeah so cross so what i'm doing is here okay only inside so you move your fingers do it here to get the posture up and here yeah not to roll either not to up either so, um very bottom here like along that and i'm doing each finger and push I'm doing each finger and push very good I'm doing each finger and push I'm doing each finger and push each finger very good very very good so you can see me doing a little bit closer each fingers each fingers okay each finger and we can practice that as well each finger and make sure that elbow is not like this you know don't move everything just here and your other side so that we get used to it and up really good exercise you know and you can keep fit yes. up. 
home, staying at home, we can do a lot of things actually, so we can have fun. And by the time we are completely back to normal, we will be experts on this. Yeah, each finger, each finger, remember, it doesn't go this either. We don't move everything. Control, looking at that, yes. Fantastic. We're gonna go to the other side. I can see people are on the terrace today as we started quarantine. Estado de alarma in Spanish. It's quarantine again. Not quarantine actually. Um, we cannot go to the village. I mean, only your your village. You know, your town. You can stay. So um, we cannot go to Malaga. We live in. Costa del Sol Torre Molinos, we can't go to Ben Armadena. So we stay here, you know? But it's nice. We are lucky to have this better and the Stella so that I can do some classes and flamenco movement with you guys. Yes, each finger. So where are you watching from? How is your um, country situation? Some of them are, I know that. Um, from US and some of them are in England and some in Japan, some in Spain. Write a comment. I want to know how you guys are doing and we can keep ourselves happy and stay together. You know, keep working. Very good. So we're gonna go together, and now I'm gonna show you the outside. Remember, I said I'm gonna do uh, with the details. So we did this before, and now we're gonna go take it everything and up. Okay, take it everything and up. Take everything and up. Take everything and up. Take. Everything in the half. Very good. Remember that your elbow is not moving, always space. Stomach in and up. Yeah? And each finger. Don't do this. Don't do this because you have a beautiful fingers to show off. Don't don't close it, you know? Open it. Open it. Make sure that never your hands are never close unless you're dancing. Sugrida or Sorea. Okay, let's do it. Now we're gonna do it inside and outside. Inside and outside. Perfect. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. We go a little bit here so that you can't see. Inside and outside. Inside and out. Very good. So these are the hand movements that we are learning together. And now we are gonna do the basic arm position. Okay? I don't wanna do it together with this. First, I want to get this hand movement and the posture. And now we're gonna check where we are going and then at the end of the video we're gonna do it together with this yeah let's do this okay so we stand stomach in, up and everything got this position very good and imagine that we are going in the center we are drawing a line and come and ah, perfect. Come and up, amazing. Very good. Wonderful. So your fingers goes further from your body. Yeah. And make sure that elbow doesn't fall. Okay, so when we are here, squeeze your mirror um, at your home, 
go in front of your, um, I mean, where you have a mirror, I don't know, bathroom or your living room or your room, anywhere. Okay, make sure that this doesn't go like this. Don't fall. Elbow always out. Alright, fantastic. And when we are here, we don't cross either. You remember the space? So we go here. Make sure that it doesn't go like this. You know? It comes here and center. And on those the shoulders down. Always. And stomach in. Okay. Perfect. So when we do this, it comes here as well. And when we go up, it goes here. So it never goes like this, you know? Okay? So it goes here. Again, we're gonna go up, 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 perfect, up. It's hurt, yes, you know, coming got hurts, dance hurts, ballet hurts. When you do exercise, it's work, you know, it's not nice and soft all the time. Okay, come on, we can do it. Up and then up. Remember, your fingers got to be really soft. Okay? It's like um, your fingers or hands are in the water. Very good. Last. Okay, so we're gonna go in, inside, I mean like the center. And now I'm gonna do here. Remember? And we're gonna go to the center. And here. And we're gonna go to the center. And here. And we're gonna go to the center. And here. And we're gonna go to the center. Again. Okay. Very good. So remember to do this, yeah, every day. So you will get um, without thinking, natural, and stomach in and up. Practice this and make sure to see it from the side if you don't know. Up, in, in. One is in. Up, up, and practice. And practice the hands. As always, each finger never cross and elbow out and the, uh, the basic movements, yeah? And the fingers. And the arm goes Malga. Hands. And then we can do later. <laughs> Oh, 
it doesn't matter how I'm gonna do it on the next video so that you can learn and it's already 20 minutes 90 minutes something so um, practice that and if you have questions please let comment and I'm gonna be uploading a, a video so people who want to learn flamenco can be experts so hit the subscribe button and share with your friend and learn with me and I'm gonna be putting um, Malcaje, Sevillanas, Alegria, Soleil, Valerias and everything how I learned so you can learn with me together.